Today's video is about what motor to buy. There's two motors in the Renault Zoe. There's the Q motor and the R motor. The long names of them are the Q210 or the R240 and then they change them and shorten the names but they just call them the Q and R motor. They either have a Q at the start or an R at the start. The difference between the Q motor and the R motor, the Q motor can rapid charge at 43 kilowatts and the our motor can only charge at 22 kilowatts max charge so the Q motor quickly charges quicker than the R motor now this gets really confusing when you find out what the Q and R stand for in a lot of people's sort of abbreviations some people call the Q motor the quick motor and other and people call the R motor the rapid motor don't call them quick and rapid you'll very, very easily get confused and think the rapid will charge at a quicker rate than the quick charger because that makes perfect English sense. But it doesn't work like that way. Just remember quick and quick charge, R can't. Just call it the R motor and the quick charge motor as in the Q motor. Easiest way of remembering which does which. In a second hand Renault Zoe, you're more likely to find the sort of 2014, 15, will have the Q motor but a few of them will have the R motor because it, it started to become an option in 2015 which motor you had. More people went for the uh, Q motor, the quick motor than the R motor as the Q motor was slightly more expensive but people thought the ability to charge at the higher rate was worth the extra money. The R motor has slightly longer range because of its better power delivery and the way it sort of monitors power. So the R motor has slightly more range, but it can't quick charge. So personally, it's a choice on if you want a Q or R motor. Do you want slightly longer range? It's meant to be very negligible. I don't really know, but it's slightly longer range in the R motor than it is in the Q motor. But the Q motor can charge at a faster rate. How fast? Well, pretty much half the time because it charges at a higher rate. Now I've got some charging figures that I'll try and show across the side of the screen here but between 8% uh, charge to a 72% charge if you plug it in at a 32, 42 kilowatt charger the first 20 minutes will charge at a full 42 kilowatt rate then 72 to 89% will charge um, from 20 to 27 minutes that's a 7 minute charge at 32 kilowatts and then it drops down again from 89 to 99% at 16 kilowatts. The reason the charge rate drops down is someone gave me the best analogy ever on um, the forum, which was it's a bit like trying to put squirrels in a box. It's very easy to put two squirrels in an empty box, but as the box starts getting full and you're getting 10 squirrels in a box, you struggle to put, start putting more squirrel, squirrels in. So think of it that the further, the more full the box gets, the harder it is to put more in the box easiest way of thinking of it. You've also got the option on the ZE40 to have the QRR motor. With the extra battery capacity it becomes less of a problem than on the 22 kilowatt battery model. So the, the R motor will get you obviously slightly more range and the Q motor will quick charge. So it is an option on, on the ZE40 and you'll probably see more R motors on the ZE40. But just bear in mind that the that, that does more sort of um, range and the ZE40 because it's the larger battery. If you're only doing short journeys, then you can quite happily go for the R motor. If you're going to start doing trips to Scotland from the south quite a lot, then you'll probably want the quick charge. Bit of background on the motor. The Q motor is made by Continental and the R motor is made by Reynolds. The reason the R motor is slightly cheaper is because Renault make it themselves so therefore the cost is lower and the Q motor is made by Continental so therefore they have to pay an external source to buy the motor in which obviously bulks up the price. So your next rational question is going to be how do you know which one's got the Q motor and which one's got the R motor. There's three ways of telling that I found. The first way is to look at the eighth digit of the VIN number so if you get the VIN number the chassis number off the vehicle the eighth digit along will have an A or a B. A indicates the Q motor, which will rapid charge at 43 kilowatts, and B is the, the R motor, which can only charge at the slower rate of 22 kilowatts. 
The other way of telling is underneath the engine bay. The difference of the way they look, I'll post two pictures so you can tell, but the Q looks very odd. It's got silver at the, at the far end. So the silver, the one with like silver sort of um, engine bay is the Q motor, which can rapid charge. If it's black and it looks like it's got an air intake, like a regular engine, then that's the R motor that can only do 22 kilowatt. And then the other thing that I've, I've seen to notice, but I've, I can't confirm that this is true or not, but if it has intense, I-T-E-N-S at the end of the name of the, of the model, then that will be the Q motor, which can rapid charge. If it has nav or another term at the end, as far as I know, it's the R motor. I can't confirm that 100%. You better check in under the engine bay and the sure way of checking is the VIN number. The VIN number will tell you 100%. So you can't you can't get mixed up with the engine looking different or the model being called something different. So check the eighth digit. If you want the rapid charge version, you want an A. If you um, if you want the version that char charges at the slower rate, you're looking for a B. In summary, it's which motor's best for you. So if you're going to want to do lots of rapid charging, you want the Q motor. And if you want to do sort of just short journeys, local journeys then it probably doesn't really matter which one you go for. It's going to be down to price. Thanks for watching my video. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down at the bottom. Please check out my other videos. And if you like this video or you want to see more like this, please leave a comment in the section below with anything you'd like me to do a video on and I'll try and do a video on it. It's got to be EV based because that's what the channel's about and more particularly Renault Zoe. If you, like me, have started to notice more electric cars on the road, let me know what you've been seeing on the road in the comment section below.